Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get the Samsung's latest S Clean on your Galaxy device. I still don't know whether it can work on Marshmallow devices running Grace UX or not, but still I'm going to showcase you on my Nougat device, which is Galaxy S7 Edge, also running a Galaxy S8 firmware, but really doesn't matter. As long as you are running Nougat, you will be fine. But as you can see, this S Clean was announced in the J7 Pro and the J7 Max, which are the latest devices from the Samsung and also run Android 7.0. Now this S Clean feature was implemented into the device maintenance, because Galaxy S7 Edge and the Galaxy S8 both already have a micro SD card slot but the Galaxy S6 doesn't have a micro SD card slot so if you own a Galaxy S6 this might be helpful for you so the basic S clean feature is it will delete your log files unnecessary folders unnecessary files catch files and that's basically it you can set it to the daily midnight weekly every 15 days every 15 days would be better because later you will feel the difference but S clean also has two parts which are not enabled in the J7 Max so if you own J7 Max or a J7 Pro, you can also follow this to get this additional two features of the S Clean cleaning of residual APKs. As you can see, you can select your apps but are not installed at all. So I can just select them and delete it right away. And the last one just called apps, but really what it does is kind of amazing on Samsung's part. These are the rarely used apps, as you can see. Select them and zip APKs means you can compress it in the background and just unzip it whenever you want. For example, if you tap it, you can delete the user data to clear your storage or you can just zip them. You can also disable some preloaded apps over here which is just basic you can also do it through the settings but here you can really get the idea of all of the apps which you can actually disable and now how to get it there are two methods one is no root and a root root would be needed if apk doesn't really get installed right away for example just download the apk memory server over there just tap the install apk and it should be good but if your device is like my galaxy s8 memory server for some devices the apk doesn't really install the package conflicts with an existing package uh, which is not really true because later we are installing this new app over here then you will need root now you have to just download another app called lucky patcher as you can see it's loading the apps grant the root permission rebuild and install it's at the bottom over here you have to just situate there you go memory server apk just hold on it and just select this install as system app yes it will link for some time as you can see please reboot to apply the changes tap yes and you are basically done the apk has been installed to your system and now you have to download another app called activity launcher just open it go to all activities i hope i am going slow because literally in every other video i just get comments that you can't understand me and i am going just too fast for me it's too slow just search down till you get the memory server and as you can see you will get all of these features over here now if you want this on your home screen you have to just hold on it create a shortcut and if you go to your home screen as you can see all of the three shortcuts will be available on your home screen so guys thanks for watching this was a quick little video on how you can get the latest s clean on your galaxy device hope you guys enjoyed and please let me know in the comment section below whether it works on marshmallow devices too so that i can include it in my title and hopefully you guys can enjoy it too thanks for watching peace